welcome. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you know when our videos go live. But with that being said, let's get started. Okay, using our rectangle piece of paper, we're gonna line it up in the corner and we're gonna trace a line all the way across the middle. So use this as a tool to keep moving our way across the paper so we split it in two. If you're watching this and haven't purchased one of our Splatterbox kits, that's okay. You can just use a ruler. All you have to do is measure and find the middlemost line. Now that we have our two different sections, we need to create six. Using our tool, we are now going to divide our paper a few more times. Again, if you don't have this tool, just measure your paper in thirds. Easy as that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Now we're gonna use our circle tracer and trace a circle in each section. If you don't have the paper tracer, go find a circle. Maybe a bowl or a glass. Now it's time for us to pick out our emojis. I just decided to use my cell phone just so I could see all different ones. This is a great opportunity for you to choose your favorite emojis as well. Otherwise, you can follow along with the ones that I decided on. Great, now that I've picked out all six of my emojis, let's sketch them on. The first one I want to start with is the guy with sunglasses. Try your best to follow along with these few steps to create our sunglasses. We're making a straight line, but with a little dip right in the middle. Then I'd like you to make two small little lines on each side. Now we're going to build in the nose piece of the sunglasses. See how they're starting to take shape? Now round your edges and bring it up all the way to the edge of the little lines we made. Whoops. <laughs> and guys, don't forget, that's what erasers are for. If we make a mistake, erase and start again. Add on our little smile and he's good to go. The next emoji we we're going to do is we're going to do the heart eye emoji. So draw on two hearts for the eyes and a nice big smile. The next emoji we're going to do is the star eyed emoji, but first let's practice our stars. The first one I'd like to show you is a non-overlapping star. You're going to go line by line trying to build a star. I like to think of this one as we're making little triangles wrapping around till we create a star. We have to imagine where the lines are going to end up. Do you see how I did that? I jumped over one triangle so I didn't block it and created the line on the other side. Now do that till you make your way all the way around. The other star I'd like to show you is an overlapping star. So basically we start with almost an A, but we overcross it and then match the corners. Why don't you practice a few times and then we'll be ready to draw our emoji. Awesome, great eyes. Now we're gonna add on the mouth 
and some teeth. All right, guys, you're doing such a good job. From here on out, just follow my lines and then we'll get ready to paint. I love this little guy. He looks so embarrassed. So silly. Have you ever laughed so hard you cried? I have. Awesome. For the next little bit, I'm going to fast forward the video and let you guys paint. Follow along the best you can, but don't forget you can always change the colors to how you would like them. I'm just doing mine as an example for you to follow along. Put your own personality into it and have fun. These guys are taking shape. Awesome job. Using our smaller brush, let's start adding in our details. Switching back to our big brush, we're going to fill in our background. We're going to create a pattern. forgot this guy's cheeks. Let's add them in now. Guess what guys? It's time to outline. Take your time. This will make your painting look its best. Just another quick tip. Make sure you move your painting so it's easier for you. You don't have to reach across. That way you won't dip your arm in the paint as you're moving your way around the painting.
that last emoji must feel great. Now it's time to decorate. I always recommend mixing glitter into glue, especially when you're working at home. That way the glue will contain the glitter and it won't fall on the floor. Mom will really love that. If you're enjoying painting with me, I would love it if you would subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Instagram at Splatterbox Art and Facebook at Splatterbox Art. But even if you don't subscribe, you can always check back on Wednesdays and Saturdays. We'll always have new videos for you. Don't forget, you can use your glitter glue as your glue too. Make sure you make a big glue polka dot before sticking a jewel on. Look at those awesome emojis. Great job, guys. I had so much fun hanging out with you today. See you next time. Bye.